Hello everyone, Damage Zombie here to tell you about basics about what are stocks. Uh, but first, the quick disclaimer that I am not a licensed financial advisor, I am not a tax advisor, lawyer, consultant, or any way certified, I am giving you my opinion. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm glad that you chose to watch it. Please consult your tax advisors and investment advisors for your own situation. Now with that being said and out of the way, so stocks are a way for you to purchase a percentage of a company in the form of shares. You can do this online through websites or there's even trading apps now like I'm sure a lot of us out there have now heard of what Robinhood is after the recent GameStop fiasco. But uh, you can buy a share of a company and I've drawn over here, so this little red sliver here just represents a small percent, right? Whole pie chart, your total shares. So like if I wanted to buy $1,000 worth of stocks, even though $1,000 is you know a good chunk of money, overall it's not going to be a big percentage of the company. Um, but there are two ways of buying stock, or two, two types of stock. You've got common stock and you've got preferred stock. So in this you know, pie, they've got preferred and common. So I'm going to abbreviate here, preferred and common. So preferred stocks, uh, what are those? Um, unless you specifically have sought them out, you probably don't own them because they are usually a little more expensive, uh, but they guarantee you a set fixed rate of dividend payout, and I'll explain dividends more in a minute. Uh, whereas common stocks, so you got the preferred ones, they have the fixed dividend. Common stocks do not. Uh, their dividend rate can go up or down with the performance of the company. So variable, I'll put variable dividend. Common stocks also get a say in the company, meaning that whenever they are doing votes for board member positions, directors, new directions for the company to go. Some companies may consult their shareholders to see where those who have got money invested in them, what do they want? Preferred stockholders, they're not gonna get any say in the company, but the perk for them is they get paid first, they're preferred, before the common stockholders. So even if a company were to go bankrupt, crash and burn, uh, once they've liquidated all their assets and sold everything off, they still are obligated to pay the preferred shareholders. And if there's money left over, they would pay the common stockholders. So why would you want to invest in them? Well, if you're wanting to get a you know reliable fixed income of dividends, maybe preferred stocks will seem a little more enticing to you. Personally, I just invest in common stocks. Um, some common stocks can pay dividends. Um, so now I guess, you know, talking about dividends, dividends are what you get paid just for owning a share of a company. So let me erase this real quick. So if I own a handful of shares, let's say I own 10 shares in co that company, Business X. Um, so if I own 10 shares and they set a dividend payout rate at 25 cents, so meaning uh, multiply your 10 shares by whatever the dividend rate is, and that's gonna work out to be about $2.50. Uh, some dividends are paid out quarterly, so every three months, some are paid every year, and there are some that do pay monthly, but they are typically not going to be as high as the ones that are paid out quarterly or annually. But again, that can change. So dividends are a good way for you to supplement your income, build a retirement strategy to where you have another source of money coming in for just owning those shares that you've decided to purchase. Um, you might even already be a stock investor and not even realize it. So. 401ks are something a lot of us have or have heard about. So a 401k is something your job employer might um, offer you as a enticing benefits package, right? So if you contribute a percentage or a dollar amount to your 401k, 
What that means is you're actually buying into their mutual funds, uh, which are a large pool of stocks for that company. And the goal is long-term investment because it's meant for your retirement. Some companies will even match your money. So if you put in 3%, they will pay you an additional 3% to match the 3% you contributed. And that is a fantastic way to earn free money because if you were to put $100 into your 401k and they match it dollar for dollar, then you just got double that. So even better, definitely look into your benefits package if you have a job and they offer anything with 401k, might be something to consider for you. So why would anybody wanna buy stocks? And in conclusion, it's, it's a way for you to bet against inflation. So $100 today won't buy the same amount or have the same purchasing power years from now as it does today. By buying stocks instead of just holding cash, you can grow that money because the shares might be worth more money over time. That's the goal of investing, right? And it is a good way for you to think long-term for how to make more money. Uh, you could do day trading. I wouldn't recommend it, especially for beginners, um, but there are people out there who buy and sell multiple times within a day, hence day trading, and they are essentially chasing the highs and lows, buy low, sell high uh, throughout the day. Um, but for the average stock investor, you can look at around 7% gains. And again, that is not a guaranteed number. That's if you're investing over the long term. Average from what I've seen out there is 7% returns. Now, it could be worse, it could be less, but by buying into the stock market, you too could invest in your future because it might be a better way to grow your money instead of keeping more of it in cash form. Again, buy stocks at your own risk. I would highly encourage you to talk to your financial advisor if you have one or consult one. And for those of you who have stuck around to the end of this video, a bonus point out are index funds. So index funds, they track a group of stocks. Index funds, let's just say they track 10 companies, right? So one, two, three, you know, down the line. You may have heard diversifying is better than keeping all your eggs in one basket. And a great way to do that is to buy shares of an index fund. They're traded just like stocks. Uh, what they are is a portfolio of, and I've made up here, 10 companies. So they might be a mixture of tech companies, restaurant companies, uh, you know, different industries. So that if one industry is not performing as well, your overall value is going to stay relatively the same instead of volatile you know, spikes and drops in the overall value of your, your portfolio. The S&P 500 is probably the most known one and it tracks some of the most uh, profitable companies out there and it is a good way for you to buy into stocks make your dollar diversified throughout multiple companies instead of just one and in turn lowers your risk of losing money. Doesn't guarantee it, but it overall has shown again around 7% returns for those who decide to invest in it. And that's the basics of stocks. I can go over more another time. Um, Thank you for watching and I plan on doing future videos to explain how you can buy stocks and I can talk a little bit about the companies that I use for investing and decisions for why I have pulled out of other companies and decided to go with a new one. So thank you for watching everybody. Hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to share my video with people so if you want to help support my channel that would help me out. So thank you for watching. Bye everybody.